Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! Special greetings to all the staff of Haldeman Auto Supply and of course to all the viewers and subscribers of my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you the commonly used shapes of tool bits. Let's start. These are the right and left hand facing tool bits. The right hand tool bit is usually used for cutting or finishing the end of a shaft. A left hand facing tool bit can be used to finish the left side of a shoulder to make it square. These are the right and left hand roughing tool bits which are used to take heavy roughing cuts to produce the diameter of the workpiece rapidly in a minimum time that the tool, work, and the machine will permit. The side cutting edge of the right hand roughing tool is so ground at a certain angle between 5 to 15 degrees that it can withstand maximum cutting pressure. Opposite to the right hand roughing tool bit, the left hand roughing tool bit cuts the work from left to right, but it is also ground with the same side cutting edge angle and relief angles as the right hand roughing tool. Thus, material removal rate is also obtained at minimum time. These are the right and left hand finishing tool bits, which are used to remove a very small amount of metal. The tool angles and clearances are bigger than for roughing tool bit that it can produce a very smooth and accurate surface. This is a straight tool bit or V-shape which is used like a general purpose cutting tool. It can be used for cylindrical, taper, bevel groove, and chamfer. The straight tool bit can be ground with or without side rake. The straight tool bit without side rake is so ground for cutting brass and bronze materials on either direction along or more or less parallel to the axis of the work. While the straight tool bit with side rake on both side cutting edges is also used for other types of materials. Grooving tool bits are ground with different shapes. The noses or cutting edges are made round, square, or V-shaped according to the shape of the groove to be cut. The round nose tool bit can be used to cut round groove and a radius at the corner of a shoulder. It may also be used for profile and form turning operations. Grooving tool bit has a square nose which is similar to a parting of tool bit. 
it is used to cut a square groove at any part of the work for various purposes. These are the thread cutting tools, a square nose which is used to cut a square thread, a beveled shape which has 29 degrees included angle for cutting acme thread, and the left and right hand V-shape threading tool bits, which have 60 degrees included angle both for cutting external threads. The right hand V-shape threading tool bit produces right hand thread either for metric or American national standard thread. Opposite to the right hand V shaped threading tool bit, the left hand V shaped produces left hand thread for metric or American national standard thread. A parting of tool bit is made as narrow as possible and the length of the cutting edge should be slightly longer than the radius of the workpiece being machined. As the cutting tool penetrates deep into the work, clearance is provided on both sides of the cutting edge to prevent it from binding or rubbing against the work surface. The feed movement is at right angle to the axis of the work by moving the cross slide. Thus, a side rake is not necessary, but a slight back rake is provided on the tool for an easy flow of the chips. Those are the most commonly used shapes of tool bits and regardless of the shape except for parting off or grooving tool bit a tool bit may be used as left hand or right hand depending on the slope of each side rake which determines the direction of cut or feed movement let's have a q a portion prof johnny why do we need to cut a square groove at the end of the thread. When a thread is required to run the full length of the part to the shoulder, a groove is usually machined to allow full travel of the nut. Yan. So, masagad siya dito. Okay? See you again. Thank you very much.